I shouldn't have the last word. You should have the last word. I should stop over here. But I've been given the opportunity. I'll be short. Two stories and one message. Uh, three of the Indian teachers called me and said, uh, can you, you have influence here, can you make sure that this program runs for another two more weeks? And I said, why are you asking that of me? You know, haven't you got enough knowledge already in this course? So no, it doesn't work that way. See, when we were in the course, our husbands did the laundry. <laughs> and My first message is go home and give them a big hug. Thank you very much to them because they made it possible for you to be a week. <laughs> and then we'll arrange a few conferences for you to still come out and uh, leave them at home to the laundry and the cooking. Uh, the other story I had was three weeks, three months ago to this day. Um, I was at another graduation at TV Ontario and uh, Minister Wynn was sitting at my side and I said, you've got to come and see these people. Uh, they're tremendous. They're the most courageous people I know about. Uh, you know, getting up at five in the morning, coming to this program, and all because they want to be teachers in Ontario. And uh, Madam Wynn said, yes, I will come. I mean, that shocked me completely. The minister <laughs> said, I'll come to the graduation. Um, we have a minister who walks the talk. And the reason I tell you that story is because you're not leaving here without support. The program doesn't end after six weeks. The support continues after that. In the mentorship program, uh, calling the facilitators, you have the College of Teachers behind you, you have the Federation behind you, and you have the three school boards who have said that they will definitely give you an interview for a job. So recognize that there's a lot of support that you have. Uh, a lot of backing, and my personal uh, message to you, just as is Wimler's and Patricia's, is we are an email away, we are a phone call away, we are always there to help you with any of the barriers you've had that you've identified in the course. You have shared your stories with us, and I thank you for that. I thank you for allowing us to be with you, and enjoy in some way the dedication that you bring to this, or the commitment that you bring to this task. Uh, and that's our commitment to you. We'll be there as long as you need us to get that first job. Uh, don't call me about babysitting or about the car mechanic. Lord But they certainly help you with anything else that you might need in terms of uh, that kind of background. Now we know, Greg, why you like to be here, so you can get your laundry done. Right? <laughs> Smart people work themselves in the jobs that they enjoy. <laughs> Once again, thank you very much for sharing your life with us and for letting us be part of that. And all the best. You know, two, uh, a year or two from now, you'll wonder what was all that all about. You know, you have your own classroom. You're teaching the kids in Ontario. Uh, hopefully, you'll remember us and invite us back to your class. Thank you. Thank you.